Okay, welcome back everybody. Moving on to the next section with quadratics, we've got to find the max or min value of each of these quadratic functions here. Starting off with number one, we got uh, y is equal to negative x squared plus 12x. Now, first thing to notice, the a value is negative. So that means that this parabola is going to be opening down, which means it's going to have a max value. And now what we have to do is we have to find the y value of the vertex. The y value of the vertex always gives you the min or max value. So with this particular quadratic here, there's multiple ways to do it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the square on it. So first thing you do is you factor out any coefficient that's in front of the x squared from the first two. So that would be x squared minus 12x. Notice in this case there is no c value. And then what you do is you take this value, negative 12, divided by 2 and square it. So that would give us 36. So then you go negative x squared minus 12x, then you go plus 36, minus 36. All right, so it's like we're adding 0. Plus 36 minus 36 is 0. And then what you do is you take out this negative 36 out of the bracket, but if you take something out of the bracket, you've got to multiply it by what's in front. So negative 1 times negative 36 gives us positive 36. So that becomes positive 36 in front. And then uh, this here ends up being always a perfect square trinomial. You always, it's always uh, half of this value. So half of negative 12 is negative 6 squared plus 36. All right, so we just took this quadratic here, which was in standard form, changed it to vertex form. Then from here, it's easy to tell what is the um, vertex. It is 6 and 36. And again, it's opening down. So this quadratic has a max value of 36. All right, so that's one way to do it. That's mostly how I'm gonna be doing these is just making sure that they're in vertex form and then just getting the Y value of the vertex. Another way you could have done this is uh, you could have actually factored this. So you could take out a negative X and you'd be left with X minus 12. Then from here, you could tell the intercepts of this quadratic are 0 and 12. So if we graph that, 0, 12, so it's going to look something like this. So basically, the x value of the vertex is going to be the midpoint, so 6, which is what we got here. And then you would plug in 6 into the uh, function, either up here or up there or down here. And then you would get positive 36. So that's another way to do it. But a lot of times it's not going to factor that smoothly. You could throw it into the quadratic formula. Sometimes you'll get decimal intercepts. So that's another way to do it. But uh, I'm going to focus more so on completing the square in this video. Now moving on to number two, we got negative 6x squared minus 12x plus 1, which I rewrote up there. So completing the square on this, we could take out a negative 6 from the first two. So we'd be left with x squared plus 2x, right? Negative 12x divided by negative 6 is positive 2x, and then the plus 1 we leave outside of the bracket. Then what you do is you take this 2 here, divide it by 2, and square it. You got to be careful not to take the 12, the negative 12, divided by 2 and square it. It's always uh, the b value that's inside the bracket that you have to do this. So 12, uh, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 squared is just 1, so we would rewrite this as negative 6x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. Take out the negative 1 from the bracket, multiply it by the negative 6 in front, and that would give us positive 6, and then this positive 1 is there. And then this here just uh, factors into x plus 1 squared, right? Half of 2 is positive 1. And then 6 plus 1 gives us 7, like that. So this quadratic is the same as this one, but now it is in vertex form. 
So what is the vertex? Vertex is negative 1 and positive 7, and it's opening down. The A value is negative, so it has a max value of 7. Moving on to number 3, we got y is equal to 2 bracket x plus 3 squared. Now notice that this is already in vertex form, so there's like a plus 0 out there. So what is the vertex here? It is negative 3 and 0. It's opening up because the a value is positive. So the way this looks is at negative 3 and 0, that's going to be the vertex, and it's opening up. So it has a min value of what? 0, the y value of the vertex. Right, so min value of zero, that's the answer for this. We didn't have to complete the square or anything, it's already in vertex form. If you just see something like this, it means there's a plus zero out here. So this is the vertex. Moving on to number four, we got negative four x squared minus two. Now if you remember in previous videos, I mentioned whenever you get a quadratic in this format where you have ax squared plus c, so there's no bx there, Right? It's just the ax squared plus c. The vertex of this is always going to be what? 0 and the c value. Why is that? Because we can rewrite this as x plus 0 squared minus 2. Basically, this and that are the same because x plus 0 is just x. And then you square that, that's x squared. So notice that this here is in vertex form. And the vertex is 0 and negative 2, 0 and the c value. And because it has a negative a value, we know that uh, 0 and negative 2 is over here. It's going to be opening down. So that's how this parabola looks like. So there is a max value of negative 2. Whenever a parabola is opening down, it has a maximum. The maximum is the y value of the vertex, which is negative 2. And then finally, number 5, we got y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 5x minus 4. So I'm going to complete the square on this. Unfortunately, we're going to have to work with decimals, I think, here, because 5x divided by negative 2 gives us negative 2.5x and then we'll have minus 4. You can also keep that as a fraction, 5 over 2, but uh, either way works. Um, and then here, what we got to do is we got to take negative 2.5 divided by 2 and then square it. And when you do that in your calculator, you end up getting 1.5625. So, you would have negative 2x squared minus 2.5x plus 1.5625. Going to erase that minus 1.5625, and we'll have the minus 4 out front. And then from here, we got to take out the negative 1.5625 outside of the bracket. We've got to multiply it by negative 2 though. So we'll have negative 2x squared minus 2.5x plus 1.5625. Take that out. That times negative 2 gives us positive 3.125 minus 4. And then this here would be x minus half of 2.5 is 1.25 squared. Then 3.125 minus 4 gives us negative 0.875. So now we have it in vertex form. This parabola is opening down, so it's going to have a max value. First off, the vertex is 1.25 uh, negative 0.875. Again, it's opening down, so it has a max value of negative 0.875, right? So that's how you do these. Sometimes you'll have to complete the square. Sometimes no, though, they'll already be either in vertex form. This is also in vertex form. As I showed, you could rewrite this uh, x squared as x plus 0 squared. Uh, another thing you could do is you could factor, find the intercepts, 
add them, divide by two to get the x value of the vertex, it's gonna be right in the middle. But a lot of times stuff won't factor smoothly. So you have to throw it in the quadratic formula to find those intercepts. And a lot of times intercepts are going to be decimals, but uh, you should be pretty comfortable knowing how to complete the square, how to go through the process and put it into vertex form.